Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we displayed the loading spinner while our Ajax was in progress, and we also saw how to use before send and complete options with Ajax. Now, in this lecture, we will again see something using jQuery, and this could be very helpful for you to know. And you might have seen some example where you click on any button to copy something and then used the copied content where you need this. Okay, for example, let me show you some applications. So you can open the new tab in the browser and just go to the getbootstrap.com. Okay, and in the getbootstrap.com, for example, let's come to the uh, docs first. And here, let's say here you can see that you are seeing this. Uh, coding snippet and when you click on this you can see that on hover what it is showing that copy to clipboard and when you click this and then you come to the for example it's a sublime and you open a new tab and if you paste this so you can see the copied content has been pasted into your sublime directory or wherever you want to paste this okay that means that is a kind of feature where somebody has implemented that uh, when user clicks on any button or any icon or any link then the dedicated content from the DOM will be copied and then you can use it to somewhere else where you need it. Okay. In this lecture, we will try to do the same thing using jQuery. Okay. So first, uh, let me remove this file because we don't need this. Okay. We will do the same thing using jQuery. First, what we will do that we will add an attribute to our book model using migration and that is by link. Okay. This will be a link which user can visit to buy the, buy the book. This could be link of any book selling site, but for this lecture, my aim is to show you how to implement copy to clipboard kind of function. So let's come to the terminal and switch to the project first. So here you can see that my server is running. So let's stop the server. And if your server is also running, then stop it and then generate a new migration that is Rails G migration. And we will add the buy link attribute into book model. So add buy link books okay and now by link and here you can try type as a string okay however you can skip it as well and it will take by default as the string argument okay and now just run the migration rails tv migrate okay and you can see that this attribute has been added to your uh, book model so you can verify it in its schema Okay, so you can see that we have a buy link now. Now what we need to do, we need to add the buy link into our uh, seeds file.rb where we write the code for creating the books. So just open the, uh, sorry, db seeds. Okay, and into the db seeds, you can see that we have category everywhere. So just copy all these category, select all the categories. And after every category, what you can do simply that add the new attribute that is by link. Okay, and here you can provide any dummy link. For example, let's say HTTPS and then some book selling site.com and then purchase. Okay, here you can see. So we added a sample link here that is some books selling site.com purchase you can add amazon link example.com anything you want here okay this is just for the dummy purpose because our main aim is to learn how we can implement the copy to clipboard okay so just save this now and come to the rail server again and what you need to do now just uh, re reset your database so rails db reset okay why because this will again drop the database, create the database, migrate all the migrations and create the new books. But now your books have the buy link value in it. Okay, so here you can verify in the Rails console that for example, book dot plug buy link. And when you run this query, you can see that we have now this uh, buy link value for every book. Now just exit from the Rails console and just run the Rails server, okay. And we need to do something with our books index page where, why? Because we need to display some link to buy this book and a button to copy this uh, book link. Okay, so just come to the index.html.erb of uh, books table. Okay, and here you can see that first we need to add a th column here. So we can add, let's say, th. And in this case, what we can add simply, let's say, links. You can modify test as per your needs as well, if you wish. 
and now we need to add the td for this th column and here we can add two links that the first link will refer can be referred to as let's say link to and then book dot by link okay and then we can add uh, for example sorry not this just add by this book okay and the, the link is book dot by link and then we can add some class here let's say copy by link or book by link book by link okay and then add a target blank here target blank okay and then this is the link that uh, will redirect us to some other page where user can buy the book and now we need to add a button that will implement the copy by link feature okay so what we can do is just simply add a uh, button tag here so button uh, type button okay and then we can add some class here that will be btn btn sorry button button primary okay and then we can just add simply copy by link okay. and we can also add some class to this uh, uh, button that is let's say copy link okay why because we need to fire some on click event to this button so we need some class in that case okay however we can also uh, bind that event with the btn primary or btn class as well but it will uh, apply on all the buttons exist in your application so we need to prevent that so we just need to add an additional class here that is copy link okay and now save the file and come to the browser and when you refresh the browser where your table books table is running so you can see that after refreshing the page you can see that now we have buy this book link okay and when you click on buy this book link it will op it will be open into a new browser tab okay and however right now this is a dummy link so it will not work so don't worry about that okay let's focus on this copy by link button only okay so when you hover on the copy by link button or click on the copy by link button nothing happens why because this is just an empty button now where nothing no event has been bind and there is no link or no hyper reference added on this button so far okay now first uh, let's see that we can also add some button class to buy this book link as well so just uh, come to the index page again and add here like let's say button and then success okay. so refresh the page now and when you refresh the page you will see buy this book and copy by link okay but in the bootstrap that uh, example we received recently so here you can see that when you hover on this icon what it is showing that copy to clipboard okay and uh, when you copy on this it is showing that copied okay so we need to do the same thing with our copy by link as well because we need to make it a tooltip first okay so let's add the tooltip on it so what uh, tooltip we can add so you can find the tooltip element here okay and here you can see that this is how tooltip works in the bootstrap for example you can see that uh, tooltip on top tooltip on right okay and we need these data attributes to implement this feature onto our copy button okay so we just need to copy this database toggle database placement and database title okay so just copy these attributes okay and paste this into your copy link button okay so what we can do here just come here and paste it and you can change the title as well that is uh, copy to clipboard copy link to okay and save the file and now come to the browser and refresh your page so when you refresh your page and when you hover on it you will see that nothing will appear here why because by default the tools tool tips will not work unless you need uh, you do some special uh, what i can say like you need to define this explicitly in your application.js so what do you need to do that come to the application.js and write after the import statement where we are importing the bootstrap okay so we need to add something here so just add dollar and then function okay and here just need to add 
डॉलर डेटा बी एस टोबल डेटा बी एस टोबल ओके इक्वल टू टूल टी ओके यू नीड टू डू दिस थिंग टू गेट टूल टिप्स वर्क ओके एडिट इन सॉरी एड दिस इन डबल कोट्स एंड देन टूल टिप Save the file and now come to the browser and refresh it. So when you refresh the browser now and when you hover on the copy by link now, you will see copy link to clipboard, copy link to clipboard, copy link to clipboard. So now we are at the hub phase stage. We need to implement the copy to clipboard function now. Why? Because our function uh, front end part has been done. That means now user can see this copy by link and he can see this in tool tip that copy link to clipboard. Okay. And now what we need to do? Once user click on this copy by link button, the link or the hyper reference of this by book link must be copied and the tooltip text must be updated like link copied. Okay. And we need to do this using some jQuery. So what we need to do this that we just simply need to bind the on click event on the copy link button. Okay. So open the application.js and there we will implement this function in the document dot ready block so just to open this application dot js and inside this document dot ready block first let me wrap the words okay now what you need to do here at the last you can simply implement uh, the on click event binding so dollar and what is our class here you can verify from the index template that is copy link okay so just copy this class and in your application dot js you just need to invoke a uh, click event on it so on click and then function now in this function first what we need to do that first we need to store the link into a constant okay i mean the hyper reference of the link into constant and what will be the hyper reference this book dot by link will be the hyper reference that we need to copy okay and here you can see that we have the loops and the buttons in the link now so we need to find the previous element of every button clicked okay so what how we can do this so you can do it like let's say const sorry const link equal to and then dollar this and again i'm reminding you that this represents the currently clicked copy button okay so dollar this dot prove This prev is a function in the jQuery to find the previous element of uh, current element or any element that you are referring right now. Okay, and then previous a tag. Okay, this uh, a is to refer means that we are referring the anchor tag now that is previous to this button text. Okay, and then attr. Attr means that what attribute we want to copy. So what we can do here hyper reference. Okay, that means now this. Uh, link has the hyper reference of this uh, previous sorry now when you click on the copy link button you will have the hyper reference of the by link by book link into the link so then you can verify it in some alert box so let's add some alert here so alert link save this and now just refresh the page and you, when you click on the copy by link you will see that it is showing local or 3000 says some book selling site.com purchase okay and when you click on all the links you will see the same link okay so, so just to verify that this is working fine what you can do so you can just add some string interpolation in with the link so you can do it like let's say here you can add book.id Let's make some slash here. Okay, and now when you refresh the page and you click on the copy link by link, you can see purchase one, okay, purchase two, purchase three, purchase four. Okay, so that's how it will work. Okay, now we have a unique link for every book to buy. Okay, and now as the next thing, what we need to do here, uh, just come to the application.js again. So remove this alert link now. Why? Because we are getting the required attribute that we need to copy. Okay. Now we need to define an empty input element 
and that empty element must be the temporary okay so var and then you can define it here like temp and then dollar input okay at the semicolon here and now what we need to do we just need to append this temporary input element to the body of the page or the document okay so what we can do it dollar and then body then append and then temp. okay that means what this line means that we are adding this temporary element as the last element into the body okay so just save this and now we need to assign this link to the temporary input element okay i mean the element which is created here we need to assign this link first at the semicolon and then you can do something like temp dot well okay value is the function that uh, if you are passing no argument that means you are trying to get value of something and if you are passing some value that means you are setting some value okay so we can pass here link and then dot select to sorry select not select to select function okay this select function means that you are selecting the entire value of the input box okay now we need to execute the command to copy the selected value so what we can do here document dot exec command and this exec command will take some arguments like copy paste or anything that you want there is a documentation and you can find all the options available for this exec command on the msdn uh, library of the mozilla okay so here i will pass the copy and you also need to pass the copy here because we are implementing the copy to clipboard function okay so and now at the semicolon here and now once the link has been copied we need to update the tooltip tool tip title on the copy link button okay so how we can do here first add the dollar this dollar this dot addr and here we can provide title and that is link copied and then you need to also you also need to uh, invoke another function that is dot tooltip and here you can provide a text title and dot tooltip show ttr and here title and then what the original title we have here so you can just copy this from the index.html and our original title was copy link to clipboard just copy this and paste it here and then the tooltip it's title okay this line means that what we are doing here let me explain you first let's remove this explanation mark so what this is doing that uh, this is setting the attribute that like title and link copied and this, this is setting it as a fixed title then tooltip show and this other line means that it is fetching the original title that was previously before it changed that was copy link to clipboard and then again it is calling the fixed title okay and now we do not need to show uh, call the tooltip with show option okay and once the copy has been finished we no longer require this temporary input element so now you can remove this so invoke the jquery remove function to remove it so how we can do it here like uh, then just temp dot remove okay save this and now just come to the browser and refresh the page so after saving the application.js come to the browser and refresh the page and when you click on this copy by link you will see that link copied okay and if you paste it here you will see you copied some book selling site purchase one okay and now if you click on some other link let's say click on the fourth link okay so you will see that link copied and what you can check here by pasting it so you copied some book selling site.com purchase for okay and here you can also try by clicking another book link as well so let's click on this link and you will see copy by link and when you paste it in the another browser tab 
you will see that you copied the link of the buy link of the book with id 8 okay so how this works this is how it works and you can also see that on hover it is showing like uh, copy link to clipboard and when you click on this button it is showing link copied okay and now you can implement such kind of things uh, just by following this basic however you might uh, need to do something else as well okay for example if your need is different and if you want to copy uh, some other element or content of some other element on the DOM then you just need to update your selector okay like it could be your uh, div element or it could be some coding snippet or it could be some paragraph so you just need to modify this change a bit okay now let me explain again that what we did okay so we just added a new attribute into the database that is by link into the books table and here you can see then we added a link to buy this book that will redirect to the users if they want to you know, visit that page and then we added the button which tooltip that is showing copy link to clipboard and when user click on this button the link will be copied okay and then user can paste it or share this link and here in the application first save this and here in the application.js what we did we just uh, first uh, implement this function okay and th this is required to get the tooltip work in your application and then we bind the on click event on our copy link button here you can see dollar this dot previous we are getting the element uh, anchor tag of currently selected element which is previous to that uh, uh, copy button and then we created a new temporary input on the browser we appended into the body tag then we set the value of it and then we fire the copy command okay and then we set the we updated the title of tooltip after copying the link okay and then we include the temp dot remove and that's it this is a very sim simple example okay you can apply this to any of your need where you want to implement copy to clipboard okay and again as i said previously that you might need some customization depending upon your requirement but this is the required basic you must know so i hope you enjoyed this please try this lecture at your end and we will meet into another lecture with some more exciting jquery topic to learn till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe